Hello, my lovely people. I hope everybody's feeling lovely and great. I didn't shower yet, so if you see my hair is like that, and I need to change and shower. But I said, like, I really wanted to shower, but I said, how about I just shower and then sleep? Shower and sleep later on. I like to shower at night. So let's do this reading will come toward you the next 24 hours. And what are they feeling and thinking about you? I'm not going to do it because I already done it. It's uploaded on YouTube. So what's coming toward you the next 24 hours? What's coming toward you the next 24 hours, my lovely people? Mm -mm -mm, just eight people. Would not like believe how dizzy I was. Like... You know, like when I told you that I slept uh, like all day and then I I could not like I slept and after the live, like I slept again till the next day and I could not wake up for work. I felt dizzy. I think I have some kind of like problem with vitamins or something. And till now I went out then I was like, oh my God. So I ate some meat with broccoli and stuff like that. I feel better. So I guess because uh, I haven't been eating good, I was drinking a lot of coffee. I did eat something like it was junk food, so I don't think junk food is full with like things. Because my supervisor, she's like she wanted from Hardee's and I ate from Hardee's. It's like you get full tummy with fat food. Nothing there. Anyway, wait, I wanna try something. Could you do that? Here. <laughs> It's coming toward you the next 24 hours. <laughs> Cheers, my people. What's going on? <laughs> I don't know, ladies. It's so funny. What's coming toward you the next 24 hours? Number one, I feel like you're gonna be feeling like you're very. <laughs> oh, please take me seriously. <laughs> Number five, uh, number one, you're gonna feel very miserable. I do feel like you're gonna feel miserable. You're gonna feel like you are. You feel like you are, I feel like you're going to have some kind of narcissistic tendency. So you might think that you the most deserving something person. So you're going to try for some of you, you're going to try. I feel like you've done something wrong and you got to try to tell yourself that you've done nothing wrong. So I might tell yourself that I haven't done anything wrong, blah, 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 blah. Like I'm a perfect person or something like that, but you did a lot of wrong things. So I feel like number one. You might tell yourself that you're a saint or something like that. I do feel like you're going to be uh, feeling like judged by someone. I do feel like because you're feeling judged by someone, you're going to do that. There's water here. So you're going to feel judged by someone. So I feel like because you're feeling judged by someone, you're going to be feeling like, oh my God, you're going to think about it. I do feel like there's a lot of confusion, a lot of thought like in your brain. I don't even know what the fuck you want to tell yourself. Because you tell yourself a lot of lies or you're just thinking, overthinking. And you're trying to kind of reach a conclusion that's going to make you feel good at the end of the day. Number two, what's coming toward you the next 24 hours? I do feel like you're gonna feel like you are so in love, so in love. Like you're obsessed. You look at someone, you're so obsessed. You look at this person, you're like, damn, I really love this person. Hi, baby, how are you? You're gonna look at this person, like, damn, I really love this person. I do feel like I'm just so obsessed. I do feel like you're gonna feel like, should I masturbate? Should I not? Should I touch my pussy? Should I touch my dick? Should I not? Yeah, like, should I touch my, should I touch it? Should I not? Should I masturbate? Should I not masturbate? Should I not? Should I? You will, you will just think it. Should I masturbate? Should I not masturbate? Maybe you have a lot of people or something like that. Maybe you're at work, you want to masturbate in the bathroom. Dang, masturbate. No judgment here. How are you? So number two, I do feel like that. You're going to feel very upset about someone. I do feel like in the next 24 hours, you're going to feel like, okay, you cannot focus because of the obsession over something or someone, okay? It could be any obsession. You're just happy. You're just in love with that person or something like that. I feel like in the next 24 hours, you're going to be deciding to kind of like uh, put some lotion or use something that you did not use. It could be something that you just put aside and you did not use it for a while. Or maybe clothes that you, you bought that you did not use. So you're going to decide to use that. Number three, let's come toward you the next 24 hours. Number three, I do feel like you're going to feel very miserable, very lonely, very sad. I do feel like you're going to be so in your feelings, so in your head. You're just thinking uh, like you're miserable or something. You're feeling so miserable, so lonely, so sad. You're so in your feelings, so in your head. I do feel like you're just like... I feel like there's nothing around you, you're just thinking about it. It's more like you putting yourself down by your own thought or something happened that made you feel like you're just sad, okay? I do feel like you're just sad because of whatever thing happened. I feel like also in the next 24 hours, you're going to have a... 
you're gonna have an offer from someone you're gonna ignore like maybe a lot of people are gonna be trying to talk to you there's good things around you you just not feel motivated you don't feel anything you don't feel anything like nothing nothing can make you happy i feel like you say it's like nothing can make you happy or you're just sad or you feel lonely i feel like you feel like you don't know how to be happy you don't know Number four, what's coming towards you the next 24 hours? I do feel like you're gonna be unblocking someone and you're gonna decide to unblock this person and talk to this person again. You'll be like, I really wanna talk to this person again. I wanna tell them how I feel toward them or something like that. Are you thinking about someone like, I really wanna talk? Could be someone that you didn't talk for a while. Could be you wanna reconcile with someone or you wanna talk to someone. You're thinking about like, okay, should I talk to this person again? Maybe decide to not talk to this person. Like, should I talk to this person again? Should I like tell this person how much I love them or how I like them? Or you wanna tell them something? Or else you want to confess some kind of feelings could be good it could be bad there's a lot of like you you really want to confess a lot of feelings or you confess bad feeling good feeling you want to just let it all out i do feel like in the next 24 hours you're gonna have a lot of energy to do a lot of things so you can feel a lot of fire like we want to go to gym or something like that i want to go somewhere hi baby how are you maybe you're into boxing so you're doing boxing or something like that i do feel like you're gonna be wasting some money on something really good you don't feel like you wasted money but you did not might order something online or go something outside or something like that also the next 24 hours you're gonna be going somewhere very beautiful and you're gonna be having someone uh, flirting with you a lot of people flirting with you or something like that Number five, what's coming toward you the next 24 hours? Number five, you are feeling very shy. You don't feel very shy. I don't know why. Like, you feel shy. Like, you feel awkward and shy. Like, you don't know. Like, maybe you're going on a day with someone or something like that. And you're very awkwardly shy. You're very shy. You feel very, like, you're just, you're happy, but you're shy. You feel awkward. Or maybe you're going to have sex with someone. You feel awkward. You feel something like that. I don't feel like also the next 24 hours, you're going to be like, really, you want to touch something, but you're feeling shy. Maybe you are like sleeping out with someone inside the house and you want to go with drink water, you're shy, you want to fart in the bathroom, you're shy, something like that. Or you're just shy about speaking your emotion or something like that. I do feel like you are blaming someone or you're not telling someone the truth that you don't like them. Maybe you're dating two people at the same time, you don't think it's wrong or something like that. Because you, I feel like you decided, I don't feel like you maybe told them that you don't want to commit. But you're not telling someone the full truth. You could be like having something and you're hiding it from someone. I feel like you're hiding something. I'm good, how are you? How you doing? So the next reading, as I said, we're not going to do what are they feeling and thinking about it right now. We're going to do uh, another reading because I already I'm already uploading that reading. Okay, let's just go to my face. <sighs> I'm back. Real me. Not Disney princess. So what do you want the next reading, people? Not what are they feeling because I'm already uploading that. Well, look, I got this tan here. I got a lot of stands. I got all this stands. This is why, like, you record like that. You can. What do you want the next reader to be able to choose? Choose, people. What do you want the next reader? Come on. Come on, people. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. What do you want the next one? Well, do you want the next reading uh, about like what's gonna happen around in the weekends, or would you wanna know what they gossip about you? Or people gossip about you? What do they tell their friends and family about you? Or do you wanna know what do they wanna tell you but they can't tell you? What do they wanna wish they can tell you but they can't? Or what your colleagues think about you, your manager think about you, why are the stranger giving you a look? Uh, is that in your head or are they crushing back on you? Who's talking to you? Do you want to know why this person is like giving you really sexual vibe? Like it could be someone like a friend or something. You're really weird. Do you feel awkward? Do you want that or that or that? What kind of reading do you want? Whether you choose or I'm going to choose for you, people. Oh, we're going to do a reading on... What's the... Uh, what's the gossip about you? What's the gossip about you? Or why people are jealous of you? Because mostly, like, I have a lot of jealous people and jealous hope. Why people are jealous of you? 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 Number one, two, three, four, five. Choose one. Why people are jealous of you? Why are they jealous of you? In general, if you have jealous hoes, why are they jealous? Why do you have jealous people around you in general? Like, why why do people get jealous of you? And uh, if we can't tell who's jealous then, and also, like, any things we want to tell you. Why do people get jealous of you? 
Number one, people get jealous of you because your height, you have a perfect height or you're you're very taller or you could be even shorter or you could be in a perfect height, okay? So something about your height, they just like your height. People like your height. Uh, they like your body shape, something about that. I do feel like they get jealous over your body, like how your body look or your height. I do feel like specifically your height. Could be also your hair, like how long your hair gets or how thick your hair is. Something about your hair and your height, people get jealous about. I don't feel like people get jealous of like the idea that you're more independent than them or like more mature or more like you got things figured out in your life better than them or more than them, something like that. I don't feel like you have people who are jealous of you because you are like, you feel like you figured it out. You figured your life or you're more independent, you can pay rent or something like that. Or you just not relying on someone, like you cut some people out of your life. They feel like they cannot do whatever you've done. So if some of you maybe cut some people out of your life, out of your life and you've done something really a hardcore hardcore something i'm hearing so you could be like you cut a family member or something like that they cannot do that they are weak so they are jealous of you for doing that and they feel like yeah you've been you've done the hard work basically that's why so but they're jealous of you somehow I feel like you have people who are jealous of you because of someone you're fucking or someone who's attracted to you who like you sleep with or someone who's like uh, also they're jealous of you because you're getting attention from people they really want attention from it could be like really hot people really sexy people but for, for some of you it's like that but also you have like one person that's jealous of from your boyfriend and girlfriend or you from someone that you uh, they really want and this person really wants you something like that they are from attention i feel like uh, people are jealous that you're getting more attention than them i feel I uh, feel number one, what people get jealous of. I feel like there's something here that they cannot get. I'm seeing like you could be having same similar skin color like them or a different like those people and you get in a different race, a different nationality that they cannot get. Like for example, let's say you're you're white, okay? And you have like this other white friends of, uh, of yours, they cannot like date brown or black women, they don't want them. And they feel like they always like th thought it's like a problem, they don't want them because they're white. And then you're white and you have like a lot of black women or black, a black men or brown men attracted to you. I'm not stupid, but it's like that. And they are jealous that why you, why you, why you? Maybe it's just because you're talking normally and not racist or something like that. It's just something about your personality. They just compare. It could be something that's stupid. It could be like not even there. Hi, baby, how are you? Why people are jealous of you, number one. I feel like it could be something stupid, not even there. Just like something about also why like they cannot talk to a certain nationality. It could be like something you don't even realize that's happening. They could realize that you have friends from different nationality that they cannot talk to. Or they feel like this nationality is hard to get. Or this nationality, they cannot talk to them. Or they don't talk to them. Or... You don't know how i don't know something weird about those people who are jealous of you okay i don't feel like people get jealous of you because you are like you have you have some kind of thing that they don't understand how to do it could be something on social media or something on program and a computer or something like that you work that they don't know how to figure out and you figure it out and they feel like you're smarter than them in that aspect it could do the same thing but you're more smarter in it or something more creative so let's go to number two hi how are you hope you're feeling great Number two, why people are jealous of you, number two. I don't feel people jealous of you because of your eye color. So you could have a very beautiful eye color. Something about your eye color or your eyes. Something about your eyes is just make people really jealous. They could have like very beautiful eyes. Either like you have something about your shape or big eyes or something about your eyes is very beautiful, okay? So people get jealous from your eyes, okay? You could have long lashes or your eyes look really nice like it just look nice with make makeup or without makeup or just you have a beautiful eye they could be jealous from your eye color or something like that i don't know if people get jealous from your something on your face is natural and natural I cannot speak you ha have an accent people are like jealous from your accent you could have a native accent or you can speak very better than them or you have some kind of dialect or accent or languages you could speak more languages than people so they're like really get jealous from that but also something on your face they get jealous of it could be like you have a really beautiful lips shape uh, something with shape either shape of your eyes lips or nose or eyebrows they just are lines something very silly but they could be jealous from something on your face is natural you gotta have like some dimples freckles like natural something and they really want it and you have it naturally so they get jealous from that or something about your eyes here was something as i said i don't feel like people get jealous because you have a wealthy family or they think that you have a like wealthy family with a lot of money or they feel like you're spoiled or your family's like and they feel like your your family are like more modern than them or like you're some kind of privilege or you you had privilege when you were like some privileges like you have something more than them or something like that and my new job hope you had 
Oh, you did? How was it? How was your first day at your new job? Yeah, my day was like, it's fine. So, number two, what people are jealous of you for? I feel like people get jealous because you know how to suck dick better or eat pussy better than them. I don't know why. It's really weird. It's really weird. I just saw it. They could just, they could hurt something about you that you really know how to fuck or everybody want to fuck you or someone is addicted to your sex or sex with you is amazing or something like that. I don't know. Don't, don't ask me. Or you could have a big dick if you're a man or you have a fat ass. Something about sex is just more sexual. That you look more sexy or something like that. Something, okay, about sex or people are addicted to you, okay? And they'd be like wearing everything, doing everything, doing the most. Some people don't want to fuck them again. People want to fuck you again, even if you're like, you're spitting on the face, you're like, fuck, leave me alone, or something like that. They feel people like chase you. They feel like people chase you. Even like you don't try, people just chase you. You get jealous from that, okay? Now I'm through, people get jealous of. So. Let's see. Uh, <clears throat> number three, people are not jealous of you in general because you could be around people who like not very jealous or they're not jealous material or you don't have anything to be, for people to be jealous of. I don't feel like you're, maybe you're distant from people. I don't feel like you have more family member that they're jealous of you than you have people around you that they're jealous of you. I feel like the majority of you, number three, you could, for some of you, could have jealous people. Don't get me wrong, but I'm thinking the general energy. For some of you, maybe like it's like you have different vials on this also and because general energy so for some of you it could be like 20 percent of you like to have people jealous of you also but i feel like family more likely yeah try to block it i try to block it especially if you're exhausted try to block it i don't connect or feel people feeling i just like be detached you know try to do that so number don't focus on them Try to control it, know how to control it. Now I feel like you have family member, could be sister, sibling that they're jealous of you. I feel like you do have a sister or sibling that jealous of you mostly. And they're jealous of you because you get more attention from someone. It could be also colleagues that you have at work that are jealous of you because you get in more attention from your manager or something like that. You get in more credit, like you're the best of the best. They feel I feel like you have more competitive people, like in class or something like that. They're jealous of you because they're competing against you. I feel like you have people competing against you. Try to not to not connect your people energy and thoughts so you don't feel drained. Like so number three, I don't feel like you have competitive, they're jealous of you. Uh, number four, why are we, for number three, for some of you who are boring a little bit because I was like a a little bit. <laughs> Number four, a lot of people get jealous of y'all. People get jealous because you wear fancy clothes or you have fancy shit. You also have fancy shit. You're like, you walk like that, you have fancy shit. You smell real good. You do like that or you smell real good. Or you, you look so good. You like, look, your skin looks so smooth or something. You also, you just look bougie and you look fancy and you look real good no matter what. It could be at work or some places. So I feel like people are jealous from the way you look. You could just literally wear like nothing. You literally could wear like a top. It's like... Uh, two dollars or ten dollars and you look fun and divine and and people are jealous of you still jealous of you they're jealous hoes they be jealous of you because you look fun you could just like not shower but your hair like that and they're jealous of you they're jealous of you okay i feel like you have jealous hoes like that i feel like people are jealous of you because you know how to communicate better than them or you know how to talk better than them or you know how to do something better it's like you can't people like you easily you can't have like i feel like you have some people like really try so hard to study or to do something to kind of get attention from people or like to have something it could be at work even so like in meetings or have people to respect them or have people to listen to them or have people to do something that they really want or they really like to impress people or to talk with people and be social and you're just like there you're just like they're coming taking the like taking the whole room taking the show they feel like you're taking the show i feel like you have someone who's like very jealous of you it could be also a manager your manager is jealous of you supervisor or someone like in, at work because you they feel like they're trying to do something and you take that attention it's like, like in a meeting you take all the show and the attention it's like I'm the manager, I'm the I don't know what, and people come and ask for you or like that. I feel like some kind of energy like that. You take, I feel like you have people jealous of you because you kind of steal the show. They feel like, even if you don't know that you steal the show, you could be like literally walking a place that 
you really don't give a fuck like you just want your i don't know you wanna let's say you go to a club you really just want to drink your beer and smoke your weed on a corner like so then you don't want to dance something like that and you steal the show everybody want to talk to you and this person is just fully dressed you friend to do like they want attention they want attention fix your energy maybe because you want attention so bad your energy is so fragile nobody feel it something like that they, they just get jealous because how the fuck how the fuck how the fuck they could wear the same same shirt as you and people be saying hey they tell you your shirt looks nice and then the fuck they're wearing the same shirt they were like their energy basically they just fix their energy people gonna like them for their energy they feel like they dress up some time at work or some place they wear some makeup or if, if they're a man if, even if a man wear makeup or something like that or a man not wear makeup if you're like a man but if wear makeup dressed up look real nice at a place or with a friend and stuff like that and nobody say shit to them nobody notice that they dressed up they look at you and you could be not dressed up, dressing up, and they'd be like, "Wow, nice nail polish, nice eyelashes, nice hair, something like that." Yeah, exactly. I don't know before why people get jealous of you. I feel like people get jealous of you because you have a nice billy or your pussy look nice. I don't don't ask me. Jealous all are weird. Just a little weird now nah, before they ha you have a nice here crack even if you're a man like you look like you have a big dick there when they when you take pictures they check the picture and look like you have a big dick is that a phone or a hand your hand in your in your bucket or is it a dick or you you have something like your shape your shape in the front shape look real nice could be a belly or something like that why people get jealous of you i feel like people get jealous of you because you you go whenever you want to go, or you do whatever you want to do. Something like that. I don't know. <sighs> number five. Why people are jealous of you, number five? Number five. I feel like people are jealous of you because of something really dark. Like, I am just directly feel so dark. So dark. But I get it. I get jealous hoes are jealous hoes. Like, hoes for men or women. You could just been through something really dark and people are like envying you about the bad thing that happened to you in your life. It's like that bad thing got your attention and they're envying you for that. For some of you, literally, could be someone passed away in your family and you kind of inherited a lot of money or company or you got a lot of money because of the parents who passed away, grandma, grandfather, whoever, and they envy you for the death of someone in your family it could be like that it could be anything dark something dark happened to you it could be for some of you went to jail for something and people you got famous because you went to jail and you got attention like you walk like you got attention from like the incident or something that happened to you that made you famous made everybody know your name made everybody know what the fuck happened something like that because you're famous they're jealous of something dark it could be like you really don't want to remember what happened to you but they're, they're jealous of you it could have some kind of accident that happened to you that got you really famous in your state or your city or something like that something really dark i feel like it's something very dark for others of you it just uh you could just also been through something it's just like you have something that you really tell people that you have to do or you have to go because you stress about something there they want to have your life it's really weird it's really really weird number five because it's really weird i've seen you like for some of you it could be at work or at home and you really stress about something like you, you say i really need to go because i have something or i have like i want to go to court or i have some kind of family thing or i have to go and they feel like they're really some imagine i feel like you have a psychopath around you <laughs> because they really imagine them having your life they imagine I literally see this person for some of you. I don't know because it's generally for some of you. You know this person is like that. You know a person like that. They imagine them being you. Like they imagine like them walking in the room and people talk to them like they talk to you. And them saying I have that and have that. So they feel like their life is important or they have something. I don't feel like this person is like imagining them having whatever bad thing happened to you. I feel like if it happened to them, they would not survive. Something like that. The jealous from them. I don't feel like. Uh, you have some people envying you because of your nose or side profile or they like your side profile or your nose or something on your nose or something your side profile i do feel like you have people envying you for your age it could be um younger than them or like or i don't know they feel like you're it's like weirdos weirdos you have people envying you for your age i do feel like you have people who are envying you because they feel like you're 
Your hard life, literally, number five, your hard life. They envy you for your hard life. Sounds like you had to do a lot of hard work and you're very impressive and you learned a lot of things. They wish that they had your life. They wish that they we be that impressive to people. They feel like you're very impressive and they wish that they be you, literally. I do feel like you have people who are like envying you for your personality here. Are they jealous from who you are as a person and what you've been through and your personality, something like that, okay? Hi, baby, how are you? What do you want the next freedom, people? What do you want the next freedom, people? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Do you want spirit advice, people? Do you want spirit advice? Do you want spirit advice, people? Do you want spirit advice? Do you want spirit advice, baby? <laughs> Do you want spirit advice, baby? People, why are you not choosing? You've been lazy, lazy, lazy. They don't know how to choose a topic. Do you want next action? Do you want to... Uh, Who's talking you? Who's talking you? How can I improve yourself? How can you improve yourself? Like, okay, this is a good one. Thank you. How can you improve yourself? How can you improve yourself? Who told me, like, wait for them? And she said something. How can you improve yourself? One, two, three, four, five. Choose one. How can you improve yourself? <laughs> How can you improve yourself? Choose one. It did not say no because they said there's something coming and you did not have a topic and then she wrote something. It was really good. How can you improve yourself? Number one. It's Brazilian. It's Brazilian. It's Brazilian. Maybe, maybe, maybe you should get rid of the gases. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> maybe you're lactose intolerance or something like that. I do feel like you always have like fat belly or something like that because you have junk food in your stomach or your stomach is really dirty inside. You need to clean your stomach. Eat some greens or something like that because you have buildup in your stomach that's real dirty. You're eating dirty food or something like that. <laughs> You're eating dirty food. <laughs> Cannot take this face seriously. You're eating dirty food or something like that, but your stomach is dirty, okay? You need to clean your fucking stomach up. <laughs> yeah, I tried it in the beginning. We're not here. How can you improve yourself? I do feel like it's really trying to tell you you need to buy better luggage or bag. So you, if you're traveling a lot, if you someone who travel a lot, I feel like you have a bag or a purse or a wallet. I feel like buy a new wallet, a new purse, and new something to look better. Buy new clothes per se and to improve yourself. I do feel like maybe you have a new clothes, but I do feel like you need new clothes for something. Like buy a new clothes, dress up, or buy something for someone coming. Something gonna come. So I feel like maybe next summer something gonna happen, but I do feel like buy clothes. Buy clothes, speaking about like being gassy. Uh, buy some new clothes or something like that. Number one, how can you improve yourself? I do feel like a spirit's trying to tell you that everything is so good so far, but sometimes you let your bride and your ego get in your way and you let your bride kind of stop you from doing the right thing. So maybe fix that. Your bride and ego get in your way and then you ruin opportunities and you lose opportunities, okay? I was just saying also how to fix and improve yourself. Maybe maybe for some maybe fuck the right people maybe fuck the right people do not stick your dick in hoes maybe do not suck dicks like fuck boys dick maybe maybe think it twice before you fuck someone you just be like ah pussy i think this is the right pussy i'm in love this is the right dick i'm in love but this right not the right dick not right pussy sometimes you get drunk and you think you're in love or something a drunk in love but not right person and then you end up fucking the wrong person and then you'll be like what baby and then you have a baby or something like that this person maybe gonna have it this way but warning you so do not fuck the wrong people how to improve yourself, number one, do not be cheap. Do not be cheap on something. You have a family member, a little kid, or you have a wife for some of you, or a husband. Did they fuck a hoe and marry the hoe? You, you have a baby mom, baby daddy. They are a hoe. They are a hoe. <laughs> okay. I cannot take this very seriously. Ah, number one. Or something like that, okay? And I'd be like, do 
cannot be cheap. Take them out for a date or something like that. You have someone or you, you're not spoiling your family member. What's wrong with you? It's cheap. Number two, how to improve yourself. How are you? <laughs> Number two, how to improve yourself. I don't feel like uh, dress up, wear makeup because you're gonna be uh, attending some wedding or something like that. I'm not about improving yourself, but improve yourself maybe in the way you present yourself in family gathering or weddings or some places, or maybe you go to a place that you always party. You could be like someone who's like a host or something like that. So maybe wear makeup, do something, dress up even if you're a man. I don't feel like improve yourself like that. I don't feel like work out, go to the gym. I feel like you need to be more fit or something like that to improve yourself. So get in shape, get in shape. I don't feel like that. How to improve yourself, you need to be more creative. I feel I feel like try new, some, in new things. I feel like be creative, follow your passion, follow your creativity. How to improve yourself? I do feel like you need to kinda, you need to kinda uh, hold yourself back from being too dreamy sometime or too giving. I feel like you tend to give too much to people who like do not deserve you, even if they were the right people. I feel like sometimes you give too much and they have a bride and they're just waiting for you because they know that you are a very direct personality and you're gonna do the first action, so they're waiting for you. So it's kinda like they are hoping for you to always do the first move. So do not like you know. I don't feel like how to improve yourself. I don't feel like uh, stop having um, anal sex for some of you. If you have an anal sex, I do feel like uh, it's really not healthy for you for some reason. It's not healthy. You're having some kind of sex or something about sex is really not healthy. It could be a position, it could be an addiction in sex that's really not healthy for your body or you're doing it the wrong way, okay? I do feel like that. For some of you, it could be pregnant or your uh, partner is pregnant and uh, sex is fine if you're pregnant but it could be like they have a condition or something so maybe go to the doctor so maybe uh, they, you should stop uh, having sex like you should stop having rough sex or something like that i do feel like or have some protection if you don't want to have a baby number three how what should you do to improve yourself i do feel like number three to improve yourself you need to work on your finance to not beg people for money or be more independent i feel like you're not independent I feel like uh, uh, rely on yourself more, okay? Fix yourself more, go get a job, uh, be more independent. Even if you have a job, like be more reliant on yourself. I feel like more reliant on yourself, like to improve yourself. I feel like stop comparing yourself to other people. Uh, with look or for some of you just financially you're comparing yourself financially with other people you're comparing yourself with other people like finance how they live or whatever they have you're comparing yourself self comparing yourself to other people i do feel like how to improve yourself number three i do feel like um I feel like you you could be very hateful to people. It could be a troll for some of you, number three. It could be an online troll or you really trolled someone or you're trolling people to feel better or something like that. Even in your head, you could be racist or you could be saying shit to feel better or tell people shit to feel better about yourself. So remove that thing, okay? People, why do they have Disney princesses with a blue eye color? Like my eyes black. Like I don't get those filters. They change in eye colors. Like this is brainwashing and racism. Mm -hmm. I do think that like it's real disgusting because did you notice all filters like they have blue colors or they change your eye color to look some kind of way like my eye is black and I don't know anyway so number three how to, what to do to improve yourself i feel like number three also you need to save your finance because you're gonna need your finance or you buy something for yourself as we said we said like to improve yourself to be more independent i feel like give yourself more love because you're like you're not loving yourself that much. I do feel like you're not giving your inner self, inner child a lot of attention. I do feel like you need to apologize to some people or some of you. Number four, what should you do to improve yourself? Number four. If you want to feel happy, number four, and to improve yourself, let that let that freak in you out. I do feel like we're saying let it out. Whatever shit you want to say, whatever people you want to hit in the fucking face, hit them in the fucking face. Say whatever. Like if you want to feel improved and feel better and you don't want to feel this way anymore, you need to let your emotion out. You need to let your emotion and frustration out. For some of you, uh, thinking about sex, yeah, have sex. For some of you, maybe you're a virgin and you don't know if you want to have sex or not, but you have a lot of sexual frustrations or so. So have sex, okay? 
But out of those of you, you are obsessively obsessing over someone that you're not talking to. So maybe talk to this person, have sex with this person, have sexual talk with this person. I do feel like there's a lot of sexual frustration or go outside to date other people. If it's like, if you're single or do something, some kind of frustration. For saying maybe go, maybe you need company, maybe you need a fuckboy, fuckgirl, maybe you need sex or something like that. But out of those of you, just have a specific person in your brain that you need to talk to to feel better. I do feel like something is like, how to feel better is like something about your buildup of emotion. I feel like really Release the emotion, release the burden, I feel like you're holding to a lot of burdens, okay? You need to let it out. How to improve yourself, I feel like buying new shoes, are there's the shoes that you really wanted? I don't know what about the shoe, but I do feel like uh, just buying a new shoe is going to make you feel better. I do feel like it's more like you have depression i have emotional things inside you that is built up but i do feel like you need to release them i feel like you don't hold like to a lot of feelings that it just makes you feel very burdened okay how to improve yourself i do feel like maybe get a better wash for your body or your face or something like that or a face mask or something like that maybe you have some kind of condition or maybe you're just allergic to or you get like like me like from the mask sometimes it's just annoying so maybe like that, get like some kind of mask or something to put it. So, um, like you know, after like you move it, there's mask kind of like so your skin would not get like allergic or something like that. I do for some of you, I'm seeing how to improve yourself. Maybe go check, go to the med, to to a doctor, check something or improve something. Like you really wanted to improve or like in your health or something like that. I do see that. Really like more like a. You're holding to a lot of burdens that you're not supposed to. Number five, how to improve yourself. Number five, I do feel like uh, how to improve yourself. I feel like you need to stop lying to yourself. I feel like you have a lot of lies that you tell yourself that's not true. I don't feel like you listen to your intuition. You're telling yourself a lot of lies that's not true. You're keeping yourself in la la land or you're keeping yourself feeling happy by a lie. I don't feel like if you want to improve yourself, tell yourself the honest truth and accept the truth if you want to really, really improve yourself. Okay, number five, I do see that. I do feel like for some of you already got truth from a friend or someone told you something and you're in denial about it, you don't want to listen to. I do feel like for some of you, you need to get a divorce or a breakup with someone to feel really improved or happy or to get out of a karmic cycle. A family member is really toxic around you or something like that. I do feel like uh, you are behaving a certain way because you are like in a position that's really not, not good and you're putting yourself in that position. I feel like uh, you need to accept something and you need to forgive yourself for putting yourself there or something like that and let it out and change your uh, change your outcome or something like that. I do feel like for some of you how to improve yourself. I feel like you need to kind of not let yourself drown. I do feel like you let yourself drown. You let yourself down. You let yourself far away from your life purpose. And I feel like you need to kind of pick up yourself and be really realistic to yourself. I feel like you really need to uh, be awake. Hi, honey. How are you? Number five, how to improve yourself. I do feel like you need to cut some people, toxic people. I feel like you are accepting abuse and toxic behavior and people to put you down and not loving you and to degrade you or something like that. You need to cut those people, okay? And you allow people to kind of make you feel low or belittle you. I feel like you need to have some self-respect to improve yourself, okay? What should you do to improve yourself? I feel like you need to kind of tell yourself you're worth more than that and that you're smarter and you use whatever degree that you have and your brain and whatever thing you have to do something better for yourself, okay? Hi, honey. How are you? So, the next reading going to be, going to be maybe the last reading. The next reading going to be um, their next action toward you. Their next action toward you. One. Let's do their next action toward you. Their next action toward you. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Choose one. Their next action toward you. Number one, I feel like this person is not going to take any action towards you. They might even move on or may take action towards someone else or to suck someone else's dick. They might even have sex with someone else or suck someone else's dick or eat someone else's pussy or eat someone else's anus and ass or whatever you're eating or balls. I did not, I still did not watch a gay born to indicate myself. But I'm sure that they touch balls and they 
fucking each other in the ass. Suck their dick or something. Something like that. I do like, this person is gonna be doing something. But I swear this person may uh, come clean about their feeling towards someone else. Maybe they don't, they did not tell this person or they're trying to run away from their feelings. So they're gonna profess their love to someone else or there's a love affair gonna be happening. And this person gonna feel really complete. They might even get married with someone else or something. Number two, what's their next action? I do feel like this person is gonna text you a yeah, very, uh, very weird, uh, disturbing, but yet yeah, gonna make you a happy text message. Uh, or they're gonna send you something that just gonna make you feel happy. This person may call you, or they might text you, or might say something that makes you feel happy. Or they might just talk to you even face to face and gonna tell you that something that's gonna make you feel happy. So they're gonna make you feel a little bit of relief, a little bit just like, just like really happy. Smile, smile face. Number three, what's their next action toward you, Sni? Number three, this person gonna be watching you, stalking you, watching you, stalking you, watching you, stalking you, not taking action toward you. They wanna wait for you to take action toward them. And they might, their next action might be blocking you because they're gonna be frustrated by something or just uh, just pushing you away. They're gonna be like, fuck you, dumb, because you do not take action toward them. They might even go and date someone else or something like that. They do have feelings toward you for some of you, but they might just like block you and go date someone else. Because they don't want to take action. They want you to take action toward them. Okay? You might flash booty on your face or something to take action or something. Number five, what's their next action toward you? I feel like this person is a... <sighs> People! This person got someone else. They have someone else. They're married to someone else. So they are thinking about what they're exactly towards someone else, not you. I feel like some of you are living in La La Land or this person is going to move on or they might break up with you for some of you if you're with this person. Now this person is taking action towards someone else. I don't feel like this person wants to take action towards you. But for some of you, I feel like this person may talk to you. They might take action to talk to you, but platonically. They literally, they're going to be talking to you. They don't have anything. And you might think like, what's their next action? Their next action is just talking to you. Because you're just friends or something. Okay. Number five, what's the next action toward you? <sighs> Number five, I feel like this person is watching you somewhere. They could be even stalking you or watching something that you do or something that you post or something like that. I do feel like this person going to be like talking to you with a fake account or even if you are a psychic, purchase a reading and send you something or like purchase something or leave a comment on your page or they're gonna talk to you from another account or something like that they might even talk to you from like an anom anom anonymous page they might send a friend to talk to you for others of you they might send someone to kind of talk to you and ask how are you or to get like the news about you or something like that i feel like they're gonna take an like an out direct action toward you in general also for some of you they might even take action to tell you something that they really mean something else so it's not like they're gonna be testing your feelings or something like that testing how you feel toward them you will what do you want the next reading do you have a topic for the next reading You wanna know what they wanna tell you, but they can't tell you. You wanna know what they wanna tell you, but they can't tell you for some reason. Baby, why are you so quiet? Forgot to play the music. Bebo. Bebo. Yeah, well, what's going on? You want to know what they want to tell you, but they can't tell you? Okay. What they want to tell you, but they can't tell you for some reason. What they want to tell you, but they can't tell you for some reason. Damn, damn, did you see what happened? One, two, three, four, five, choose one. They want to tell you, but they can't tell you for some reason. Number one here, number one, I feel like this person does want, doesn't want to tell you anything because they already said everything. They feel like, do you want me to repeat the same shit over and over again to you? Because it was so clear to you. I was so clear and I told you everything. I told you I'm worth it. I told you I'm shit or they told you something. They feel like they already they already told you who they are. They already told you that they're shit. 
they're the shit they're the goodest shit ever they were like what do you want me to tell you they don't feel like they want to tell you anything they feel like they already told you everything in general for number one i feel like in general they told you everything they don't have anything that they wish that they could tell you it's like they don't want to repeat themselves it could be really stupid this and maybe they won't tell you that but they maybe already told you that part of you it could be not stupid they just don't want to repeat themselves they already said something Number two, what do they want to tell you but they can't tell you? I feel like this person want to tell you that they're very terrified. They're very terrified. They're very scared. Uh, from the day that they met you, they started to have a lot of anxiety or they have anxiety for some reason. Some of you, this person doesn't understand their anxiety. It could be because of their feelings toward you. They want to tell you that they're very anxious. They always like have nightmares or they dream about you, think about you. They have nightmares. They have a lot of anxious feelings toward like from you coming to them. It's almost like they don't understand why. They could also don't understand their emotion. They could have a lot of feelings toward you and they don't understand why they feel like they really want to talk to you, be around you. Or they feel like a very like... They feel like spirit are pushing them like toward you or they feel like very connected to you but it's kind of making them feel a lot of anxiousness they may feel very nervous very stressed so they want to stay away because they just feel stressed whenever they're around you they could just feel a lot of feelings that they cannot control they cannot control themselves like feeling jealous feeling feeling some kind of way feeling needy feeling obsessive or something like that and they don't like the way that they feel and they don't understand it they have a lot of confusion about why do they feel the way that they feel toward you i feel like this person want to tell you that they kind of like like, uh, they want to like they don't know how to make this easy they don't know how to to be like smooth with you make it easy because every time they're around you they feel some kind of way it could be like they're not comfortable they could just feel a lot of pain a lot of things a lot of triggers they just they want to talk to you and they want to be happy with you and they want to make it easy but it's very triggering they don't know how to make it easy like for them it's like they don't know okay Number three, what do they want to tell you, but they can't tell you? I feel like number three, this person want to tell you that they really want some kind of foundation, something true with you. They don't want to play around anymore. In general, I feel like this person could be with you or someone else. But I feel like in general, this person want to tell you that they really don't want to play around. They're really serious. They want to have a commitment. Or they want to tell you that they're someone who doesn't play around. They really want a commitment, whether with you or someone else. Or they just really don't like to play around. Uh, they don't want that. They want someone like legit. They want to date someone and open up to someone, not just for sex or something like that they want to date someone that they really want to end up married you know they want to be with someone like in a relationship they really want to like die with that person and grow old with this person i do feel like this person want to tell you that they really want that for others of you i feel because like general reading i feel like this person want to tell you it's like whether it's with you or without you or they want to tell you you're not giving them that so they're going to look for it elsewhere it's like this person is more like they want to tell you that it's like you're not giving them that or this is what they really want it could be not with you it could be they want to tell you that they want it with you but i do feel like this person is more like they want to cross the idea there for like let's say 90 percent of you they want to just tell you that this is what they want like if you're not gonna give it to them then fuck you something like that i don't feel like this person want to tell you that they uh, if you want to reconcile with them or if you want to make it happen they're up for it to make it make it happen it's like if you want to be working with them in this connection they're gonna work with you it sounds like they want something legit legit or they want something like uh, with someone that gonna work with them so it's like they're gonna grow old with them so if you're gonna be putting half-ass work there they don't want it if you're gonna put full like your full self there they're gonna put their full self full self so they're gonna be a change and they're gonna be uh, they're gonna be listening they're gonna be like working on fights working on things with you but if you're not working with them or something they don't want to do that they feel like this person want to tell you that number four what do they want to tell you but they can't tell you they want to tell you that they had the wrong impression of you at, at first or they blamed you at first or they were a fuck boy fuck girl or something like that and or they thought that you were like that and then they end up falling in love with you or they had some kind of wrong assumption i would like this person had something bad or some wrong assumption of you and then end up to be like different and they end up to kind of like falling in love with you or have more feelings than they expected to feel but obviously they just want to tell you that they did not expect to fall hard for you they just were talking to you or something like that and it just happened that they fall in love with you i feel like this person is very like obsessed with you and they're very happy i do feel like this person is not scared from the obsession or the feeling that they feel toward you they're very like happy with it they're very calm they're very grounded with the feeling so almost like they they love that feeling that they feel towards you they feel like it's right it's almost like they know it's right they know it's like because they feel a certain way and they love this feeling they could just not feel this way for any other person so they're actually in love that they feel this feeling or you are the one who made them feel this kind of way so they know it's love but they know it's real because they never feel this way so they're not scared from their feelings or something like that 
I do feel like this person want to tell you they are like they are waiting for you so if you're going to be coming around or if you're going to be willing to accept something or you're willing to love them they're going to be loving you but i do feel like this person want to tell you they're not going to make it easy on you so they even if you're with this person they's like i'm not going to give you my full self or make it easy even though that i think that you're the one because i want to know who you are what you're going to do and also i want to get to know you like i want to know like uh, if you're gonna be willing to be vulnerable with me or to be open with me or just like even if they're sure i do feel like this person still want to keep their privacy or they want to keep their distance it's like I mean, they might also be very like they love their independent or their privacy or something like that so they're not willing to kind of uh, like push you really in so fast now i'm five what do they want to tell you about they can this person will tell you that I feel like this person just want to tell you they thinking more like about like telling you that they're busy or they're blaming with friends they're thinking about excuses i do see this person's thinking about excuses like to go party with a friend or something like that they, they're more thinking about lies and excuses i do feel like this person always think about what they want to tell you and it's like they're thinking about like telling you but it's like i cannot should i tell her that or tell them that i'm thinking about excuses or lies they could be cheating on you and they don't want to tell you that they want to tell you some kind of lie at all. I don't feel like this person thinking about telling you a lie, but they don't know if you're going to be accepting that lie or accepting another lie, or then you're going to fall for this lie or fall for another lie. They do want to blame you or they want to be telling you something like it's a lie. I don't feel like this person is more like, it's like, should I tell this person this lie or should I tell them the other lie? Or something like that. Or they are like thinking about excuses and stuff like, stuff like that. Anyway, I love you all. Have a lovely day. I'm gonna go now and bye bye.